In our previous lesson, we learned about what the slope-intercept form was and how it helped us determine the slope and y-intercept of equations at a glance. Now, in this lesson, we're going to learn about how to write the same linear equation in a different form known as the standard form. So, let us go ahead and dive right into it. Before we start this lesson, we encourage you to watch the slope-intercept form of a linear equation video before watching this one, if you haven't already done so. Now, without further ado, let's get right to it. The standard form of the linear equation is written like this. However, do note that this is also known as the general form in some schools, but for the sake of this video, we'll call it the standard form. So, in this form, the A, B, and C are capital letters that represent real numbers. This capital B here is not the same as the small y-intercept B in the slope-intercept form. So just to let you know, the y-intercept can be found by looking for the small b within the slope-intercept form, but you can't expect to find the y-intercept by looking at the capital B in the standard form. So, an example of a standard form linear equation would look like this. As you can see, the a in this equation is 4, the b is 2, and the negative 3 is c. Now before we move on, it's important to note that some teachers prefer to write the standard form like this instead. As you can see, it's the exact same equation, except we have a positive 3 on this side now, since we added by 3 on each side in order to effectively move the 3 to this side. So, we encourage you to find out how your teacher's preferences are and follow that form as the standard form. Now, let's take a look at this following linear equation. Although this would express a linear equation, most people would multiply the entire equation by the least common multiple. This is the number that would take every term out of its decimal form and make it a natural number. Of course, since we are multiplying the entire equation by one number, the equation itself would not change at all. In this case, if we multiply the equation by 2, we can get a standard form linear equation without any decimals and also without changing the equation at all. So distributing the 2 to the left side gives us x plus 3y and 2 times the right side would equal 4. Awesome! So there's the same equation in the standard form. Alright, and now that we've got our standard form equation, what would the slope-intercept form of this equation be? Well, remember that the slope-intercept form requires the y variable to be isolated on the left side. So what we need to do is first subtract x on both sides. Then we need to divide both sides by 3. And what we get is the following. Now, of course, we already learned that our slope here is the value in front of the x when y is isolated, which is negative 1 over 3, and our y-intercept is just the b in this form, which is 4 over 3. So, there is our slope-intercept equation from the standard form. Awesome! Well, that's it for this lesson, guys. We encourage you to watch our next lesson on the point-slope form of a linear equation. So make sure to keep practicing some questions and until next time, have a good one.